What on earth is going on here? Dem bones, dem bones? Let's clear that up later. But yes, today's general theme was farce. Starting in the morning, with a host of Dewanumi men left on the card, as rewriting Sunday's fixtures was deemed too troublesome. Hence, another host of defaults. Then came the news that Mitake Umi's coach, who was cleared to work yesterday, also has COVID and is now housebound. And the madness continued post-lunch. Not in this bout itself, which saw Tochimaru, all upper body, flicked onto his belly, but after, when Oshoma, who must have felt groggy before and during, tested positive for COVID. Why he was not tested pre-bout, just in case, I don't know. But the result is, he's out, as are all his colleagues, as is coach Naruto, working closely with four other judges today. That's now 30 plus wrestlers ruled out just this weekend, all of whom must have ranks protected. Competition integrity is damaged. And badly performing wrestlers could rightly ask, why not test everyone now? Then someone we know might have COVID and give us a break. The problem, as those of us here can clearly see, lies in the expectation that wrestlers remain COVID free without COVID bubbles, which in the current provincial tournament setup are impossible to make. As of now then, we wait to see if Tochimaru and his colleagues, and anyone they fought, will also be rested. Where does it stop? Which is why the final bout was of great help to those of you not living in Japan and scratching or shaking your heads. Illustrating exactly the problem that occurs when employees are not encouraged to create and find new ways forward in overly deferential systems. Let's go through it. <laughs> Teru's bear-like strength is clear but famed Ornami knee defense saves the day twice. The shorter Motoharu can't do much with extended outer grip and seeks to bore inside for frontal left. Teru's angled shoulder, backed by a solid right knee, blocks. Haru can't get that head past the shoulder. Teru reaches for outrageous leg swipe, but correct stance when Haru tries to throw. Now it's Haru's driving right versus Teru's tipping left. But they both prefer the other kind of grip. Haru inner, Teru outer. <laughs> Teru tries a bicep clamp to cut through Haru's left and hook on inside right but no joy. Now Haru's belt is notably loose. It might be wise to retie it here, and Teru concurs as he needs more purchase, but referee Inosuke opts to wait. And wait. And only here does he react, calling for a break while almost marking Teru's forehead with the fan. 
Haru doesn't seem to notice, and continues the force out for a first gold star, only for Teru to protest. The Yobidashi doesn't notice, and arrives with cash envelopes, only to be sent back as Teru explains to Haru. The judges make to stand, but Hanare Goma especially is wary of getting involved. This could be protracted. It is protracted, and Inosuke, keen to avoid yet another blemish, frantically argues his point. I called for the belt to be retied. Enraged, he beckons the Yokozuna with his fan. For, we guess, moral support. And when the conference disbands, Inosuke gets what he wants. Not a rematch, but a restart from where he called the break. But as both men were mid-move, from which position should they resume? Cue another long session between Chief Judge and Video Room. Ugh, oh, I knew we shouldn't have gotten involved, speaks Hanade Goma's ashen face. And as attempts to reform Pose drag on, even the referee regrets his call, for he's clearly aggrieved by the audience laughter. Anyway, after much sculpting, the bout restarts. And Teru, with a tighter grip on a tighter belt, imperiously foils the force out. I gave all I had. I'm spent. That's it, really, panted Haru backstage. I had no idea the ref had intervened. Only when stepping away from the Yokozuna did I notice his mystified face and feel something was off. And to be honest, it's just amazing to be facing him. But you all saw the mistake. Just as with the COVID policy, everything was taken in isolation. From the referee, the reaction, the belt is loose, it must be retied, without due thought of context. Can both men's attention be got from there? Can they possibly stop moving in time? From the judges, the reaction, the referee asked for it, we'd better do it. But why not overrule him? Tell him he was wrong. Tell Teru he should resist before protesting, as might befit a Yokozuna. Or if that seems unfair, just start the whole match again. And the judges needed freedom to think not only as officials, but as ex-athletes and creatively pull us through. What we got, though, was the same narrow focus on the same narrow areas. Stopgap solutions which individually seem alright, but when joined together, form something absurd. <laughs> 